Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your daily reading for Wednesday, February 28th of 2024. With this being Wednesday, we've got midweek motivation day for you. If you're new to my channel on Wednesdays, we don't try and predict the future. We just bring in messages um, to pick you up, to perk you up, to give you some advice, some motivation, and some positive vibes to continue to get you through your week. So let's get right in to it and see what we've got. We've got the element of earth coming in here. Connect with the earth, all right? This is, if you're in the northern hemisphere, we're starting to come into spring. Um, it might look like a long way off for some of you, but for others of you, I mean, where I live, we've actually got like, you know, some flowers coming up and things. And usually one of the um, best uh, signs of spring coming in is in my at my parents' house. They've got like these snowdrop flowers that come in, and we always know that spring is right around the corner when those things sprout. So uh, this is a time for you to connect with the earth, to consider maybe planting a garden, planting vegetables, that kind of thing. Um, it can really make you feel like you're creating something. Um, connecting with the earth is really important to help us feel connected with the universe. Um, number one, we can go outside, right? Even if you live in a concrete jungle, you can still go outside, um, you know, go for a walk around the neighborhood, right? Um, but when we connect with nature, when we do go outside, we feel more grounded. We feel at one with the universe and we also feel a little bit more in alignment with our ability to harness all of the energy of the universe, the abundance of the universe, and turn it into something real, something we can touch and feel, and something hopefully in some cases that we can take to the bank, right? So get out in nature and connect with nature. It'll help you clear your head and um, it can really kind of in some cases be a little stress relief. The earth element here is also about turning your vision, your goals, your dreams into reality. This is that extra energetic boost saying that now is the time for you to create and see the results of what you're creating. Now, some of you may just have some small goals that you want to accomplish. Some of you have got some big ones. Whatever it is, create take practical steps. If you've got a big vision, a big goal here, um, you know, chop it down into smaller uh, milestones, right? Because then you feel a little bit more, um, uh, you feel more sense of accomplishment, right? And the waiting period isn't as long. So those stepping stones, those milestones, right? They can really, um, you know, really kind of uh, put things in perspective for us, but also give us more to rejoice about, right? Which is awesome. Um, but this is showing that wherever you put your energy, wherever you put your determination, this is where you will create things. This is a time of abundance and a time of growth for us all. The journey isn't always easy. So go with the flow, right? And if you feel stuck or lost or trapped, go outside, connect with nature in some way. And if you really can't bring nature, go connect with nature outside, bring nature inside. Um, you know, put some house plants in your in your home. They are good to look at. They're nice to look at, but they also can cleanse our air as well, right? So connect with the earth element that way. We have the pillar of severity coming in here for you guys as well. Okay. And part of the message here is courage. Courage to make change. Courage to plant some seeds of intentions and start something new. Courage to let things go. Courage to move forward and make plans for your future and see them to fruition. Part of the message from the pillar of severity is also about cutting things out of your life. The things that don't work for you anymore. This can be thoughts. This can be patterns. This can be behaviors. This can be, you know, old ways of thinking. This can be people. This can be situations. So you're being really invited right now to do a little bit of digging, earth element, and to think about what needs to leave your life. Because in order for you to lighten your load, in order for you to move forward in the direction that is 
part of your vision or that is healthier for you, we sometimes do need to make some difficult choices and removing things, cutting things out of our life is part of that. So it's not always easy, but we always have a little bit of something. It can it be just, you know, removing some negative energy and negative cords from yesterday? Absolutely. Cut those things out. Is it something on a bigger scale? Maybe you have as you evolve, as you grow, as you change, perhaps there's friends that you no longer resonate with. And, you know, maybe you just feel as though their lifestyle is no longer part of your lifestyle that you want to lead for your future. Um, is it your career path? Does it still give you any kind of satisfaction? Does it give you room for growth? Um, and if not, maybe that's something that you need to change or cut out of your life. But in order, when we cut things out, when we let things go, when we release things, it does take a little bit of courage. It takes that inner strength that we all have, but sometimes we forget that we have, right? So believe in your inner courage, believe in your strength, all right, and let some things go release them from your life the back of the deck we have Mizan coming in here and this is card number 20 it relates back to the judgment card the judgment card is digging below the surface is seeing what is hidden recognizing the things that we need to make a decision about do we keep something do we let something go do we revive something can we forgive and heal something it's all about this final judgment this big decision to get ourselves prepared for the next stage of our journey for the next stage of our cycle maybe to start something new and have a fresh start maybe it's to um you know um overcome a milestone right also known as obstacles in our path right sometimes we need to go back to the drawing board a little bit or sometimes we need to recognize what's broken and see can we fix this can we heal this can we move past this and if so great because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger essentially so you know so it's really important to um, embrace that energy of seeing what is hidden seeing what is holding you back digging getting out your little shovel and digging um, digging deep beneath the surface because there's something here that might be beneath the surface that needs to change or that needs to go we do have the Eight of Swords, and this can show there's something restricting you in some way. Now, sometimes this can be our way of thinking, right? Our thoughts, right? Our thoughts become things, and we don't want our Eight of Swords to become things because this is a trapped energy, a stuck energy, a restrictive energy. We're hiding. We're fearful. We're afraid. We're not breaking out of our comfort zone. Something has is holding us back in this energy. So whether it's external forces at work that are restricting you, and you don't have the freedom that you need that you're looking for the freedom of expression the freedom of speaking your truth right this the freedom of being you right are you hiding behind a mask are you hiding behind something right and perhaps that's the thing that needs to go the eight of swords is often fears we can talk ourselves into something but sometimes it's a lot easier to talk ourselves out of it right and retreat back into our comfort zone so what are you afraid of or what is kind of re making you retreat back into yourself, into your shell? And the Eight of Swords says here, there's something here we've got to break away from. And this is your time to do it. Because on the other side, we've got the Daughter of Coins. This is the Page of Pentacles, right? You could be learning something about yourself if you take a step back and you know maybe it's maybe it's going out and connecting with earth right daughter of coins earth energy right the page of pentacles right so earth energy earth energy hello okay time of planting those seeds time of growth time of abundance right but also time of connecting right connecting with all the abundance that the universe has to offer but in this energy here the the daughter of coins is very open to information to knowledge is an energy of growth here as well and you know so you are planting those seeds there are things coming to fruition for you there is growth on the table for you perhaps there's new 
beginnings out there for you, but we need to, um, you know, know what we want or we need to recognize where we need a little bit of a breakout and then nurture ourselves along our path. Nurture yourself, nurture your goals, nurture your dreams, because this can show here in this energy your ability to manifest things into your life, your ability to create that growth that you're looking for, your ability to make money, have a fulfilling job, right? All these practical things that are part of being human. So I think here there's also a little bit of understanding. And when we do dig deep, when we do look behind the scenes, when we are really honest with ourselves, right, this does bring us growth and wisdom here and knowledge of where we've been hiding or what has been holding us back, right? So this is a time of breaking free. This is a time of finding our true selves. And this is a time of growth for a lot of people, but we've got to go through these painful processes um, along our path. But remember, we've got the courage to do that. What do you want to start new? What do you want to change? Where do you want to see growth? What do you want to manifest in your life? All of this is really activating for you now. But you need to trust yourself. Seven of Swords, you need to trust yourself on your journey. The Seven of Swords can be um, you know, kind of hiding yourself away a little bit. It can be about trying to figure out what do I want? Where do I go? Right? The seven of swords, if we aren't clear and if we're not confident and if we don't trust ourselves to make the right decisions or to speak our truth, right? Then we're going to hide in shadows. This is going to restrict us right here. And we don't want that, right? We want this daughter of coins. We want this freedom. We want excitement. We want to look at the future with a vision and we want to be happy to participate in it. So with the seven of swords, this can represent because it can represent lies and deceit and betrayal and things like that. But we quite often do, um, you know, uh, kind of have that going on within us, right? Because if you're not trusting yourself to make change or to make a choice, right? Then what are we in the seven of swords? You don't trust yourself, right? You might be lying to yourself about something. Oh yeah, everything's okay. When really internally it's not because there's something holding you back, right? We quite often do look to the seven of swords as being hurt or, you know, being afraid to do something new or connect with new people or try new things because we've been hurt and betrayed previously by other people or situations. And that can certainly be the case. Absolutely. Right. Because people will ultimately follow their bliss. And that's not always in alignment with what we want from that person. Right. So this is showing you here that you have an opportunity to overcome that. Part of the dollar of coins, it's interesting with that seven of swords, and this is a little bit of um kind of full moon, uh, full moon magic. Um, one of the ways that we can release things out of our life is to write things down on a piece of paper, make sure it's recyclable or compostable. So you don't want to make it like, you know, um, um, anything that's been treated in any way. Um, but write some, write a few things down, three or four things, right? The power of three is a really good one. Write a few things down. What do you want to release from your life, right? Write those down, fold up your paper, meditate on it a little bit. By the light of the full moon, bury it, bury it in your garden. Or actually the even better actually is bury it in someone else's garden, right? So because things we want to release, we want to get it away from our house, right? And that's why I say use something that's um, that will break down back into soil. But write it down. Go plant it somewhere away from your house and forget about it. You'll feel an energy shift just by the act of doing that. So you want to release mistrust. You want to release doubt. You want to release fear. Maybe there's old people or situations that you no longer want them to affect your emotions, right? Release them. So a little bit of a little bit of a full moon magic for you. You can do it at any time, but full moons are a great time to cleanse and purge. Um, we do, of course, have a full moon every single month. So that might be some magic kind of stuff that you might want to work through. But this is a time of growth. So trust yourself, trust the process. Okay. Even if things are growing slow in your life, there's a reason they're growing slow right? We need to savor the moment. We need to um, embrace the experience. And, you know, quite often things that we are attracting into our life 
um, you know, we do kind of need those little stepping stones, right? It's like walking up um, a, uh, a, a staircase. Thank you. I'm like stairwell. It's not a stairwell. It's a staircase it is by love walking up the stairs. We take a step, we plateau. We take a step, we plateau. But there's a reason for that, right? And if things happen too fast, the things that are easily easily uh, gained can sometimes be easily lost. And with the earth energy, we want things to stay. So we've got a couple court cards for you guys here. It's about uh, law of attraction. It's about manifesting things in. Your heart is the seat of your power. Here's a way to instantly stop a downward negative spiral. Focus on your heart. Breathe in deeply. Keeping your focus on your heart and concentrate on feeling love in your heart. Breathe out while keeping your focus and feeling the love in your heart. Repeat this a total of seven times. You will feel more peaceful, you will feel lighter, and the negative thoughts and feelings will have stopped. Hold that up for you so you can take a screenshot if you like. I'll do that with all of these. The next one. Proclaim it to create it. To speed up any manifesta manifestation, think, talk, and write about your desire in the present tense only. I have all the money that I need. There is no past or future for the law of attraction. If you proclaim it as existing now, the universe must get busy very quickly. Hold that one up for you as well. Remember, always speak things into existence in the here and now. I am abundant. I am powerful. I have love. I, uh, I have achieved my goals, right? Very important. Because if we talk about things tomorrow, coming in tomorrow, it'll always be tomorrow. Everything is an inside job. Isn't it great to know that you cannot control your world from the outside? To change your world, to change your whole life, all you need to do is manage your thoughts and feelings on the inside of you, and then everything will change. Reminder how to get out of that Eight of Swords energy and the Seven of Swords energy as well. Those are your messages, guys. I'm going to leave all that there for you. I hope there was something in here um, for you. If so, please do hit that like button there. Um, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Check out your March money and career readings that are posted for you. Um, and also uh, check out your weekly reading if you haven't seen that as well. But I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.